Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cozy Cat Press channel. Today I will be talking about some of my favorite series that we offer. So if you're looking for your next list of books to read, I've got you covered. The first series I'll be talking about today is The Alton Oaks Mysteries by Megan Rivers. This is a four book series. So it starts off with Murder in Isle 3, setting the scene of the main character, Charlie Mae Parker. She moves back to her hometown of Alton Oaks because of some marital issues. When she returns, childhood friends, her family, and a murder investigation of a young woman all come into play. And Charlie is determined to navigate this new life being home, telling her family about her broken marriage, and kind of wiggling her way into the investigation only to realize that there is someone out there preventing her from doing so. The second book in the Alton Oaks Mysteries is Schools Out for Murder. So we have the same protagonist, Charlie Mae Parker, who gets a job as a substitute teacher. However, her excitement to join changes when she discovers a body hanging over her very own desk. Everyone starts to rule it as a suicide, but something makes Charlie believe that that is not the case. Charlie's own detecting skills starts to put her a little too close to the death, and that ends up leading her into some sticky situations. The third book in the series is The Scarecrow's Secret. During the Alton Oaks Fall Festival, the scarecrow in the corn maze actually ends up being a dead body. You find out pretty early on who it is, and then the whole story is based on how it happened and why this person was in town in the first place, but giving it away would give some spoilers, so I'm not going to tell you because it's quite a shocker. So not only has the murder drastically changed Charlie's life, but the prime suspect is also her best friend. So Charlie takes it upon herself to figure out the Scarecrow's secrets. This has probably got to be my favorite of the series because of the fast moving plot and just so many problems in it that are just brilliant. The fourth and final book in the Alton Oaks Mysteries is In the Dead of Winter. Now I don't want to give too much away on this one because Charlie is still grieving of the death of the scarecrow from the previous book. So to pass the time and kind of distract herself, she decides to take up photography, freelancing for the town newspaper, and doing some studio shots for the Alton Oaks Bakery. During the town's annual polar plunge, the granddaughter of the owner of the bakery um, is found dead in the canal. Everything about that family makes Charlie believe that the granddaughter would have committed suicide. When she thought that all this was over, she discovers some old secrets and even finds a journal that has Charlie thinking that there is more to be discovered about the death of the granddaughter. I thought this was such a good end to this series, but I could also see more books being written about Charlie because she is such a complex character. The second series that I want to talk about is the Damon Lasser Dabbling Detective Mysteries. I know, it's kind of a mouthful, by Stephen Kaminsky. This is a three-book series, and I will discuss each one of them. The first of the three-book series is It Takes Two to Strangle. We start off with a really fun setting in a traveling carnival, only for it to get less fun real quick when the owner is strangled. Damon Lassard, the head of the Citizens Association and local liaison with the carnival, feels an obligation to get right in the middle of all this. Damon travels with the circus to uncover more secrets of greed and murder. This mystery was so complex and a great start to the series. The second book in the series is Don't Cry Over Killed Milk. I just love that little play on words there in the title. So we are introduced to the protagonist, Jeremiah Milk, and we learn fairly soon that he has amniotic band syndrome, which is a rare birth defect that left his fingers and toes malformed. Right away, we feel sympathy for him because he was bullied as a child, ultimately leading him to live kind of like a hermit. A series of deaths occur in the novel, starting with the people closest to him, and Damon Lassard, who was Jeremiah's neighbor, gets right on in the action. 
He takes a deep dive into Jeremiah's past to solve these murders while battling his own personal issues as well. The third and final novel in this series is Murder, She Floats. Damon Lassard and his mother take a little relaxing vacation on a cruise ship called The Vitamin of the Sea, or at least what they thought would be relaxing. A woman is found overboard and everyone immediately rules it as a suicide, except something is telling Damon that's just not what happened. So he takes it upon himself to figure out what happened while encountering so many different types of people along the way on this cruise ship. This had to probably be my favorite of the series because of the interesting characters there was and I honestly didn't have a single clue about what was going to happen and it was just such a great end to the series. I want to thank everyone for watching and listening today. As always, I will put every book that I mentioned in the description below. They are all on Amazon for purchase, or if you're kind of like me and prefer to read them on a Kindle, they come free for the Kindle Unlimited membership. Um, please leave your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section. I love reading them. Thank you so much, guys. Bye!